Hello and welcome to the tutorial on skip counting in fours. In this tutorial we will do skip counting in fours with numbers up to 40. So let's have a look at our first example. Suppose we have this number 12 and the question is what number comes after 12 if we are counting in fours? How do we work this out? Now previously we have used the number line and the number grid. What we're going to use here is simply the dot method. Now we're counting in fours, so above the arrow I'm going to put four dots. One, two, three, four. That is us counting in fours. What number do we start at? We're starting at number 12. OK, we're going to start counting forwards. So 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. That is our answer. The number after 12, if counting in fours, is 16. Do you see how simple it is? OK, let's look at one more. This time we've got number... 24. What number comes after 24 if we are counting in fours? Well again, it's simple. We do, we, we're going to use the same method, the dot method 1, 2, 3 and 4. We're starting at number 24. Let's start counting. 25, 26, 27 and 28. That is our answer. The number after 24 when counting in fours is 28. OK. We're going to look at one final example. This time it's going to be a slightly different question. We've got 16, blank, 24, blank, 32. So we've got three numbers and we've got two blank numbers. We have to fill in the blanks. One, two. And we are counting in fours. So let's start on the left hand side. We've got 16. Let's draw an arrow from 16 to the first blank number. Now how many dots are we going to do? Well it's four dots because we're counting in fours. One, two, three, four. Yeah, let's spread the dots out. We're starting at number 16, so let's start counting. 17, 18, 19, 20. That is our answer. 20. It really is very, very simple. Now the next one has been done for us, but let's work through it anyway. Let's make sure it's all correct. So we're starting at 20. We're going to have 1, 2, 3, four dots because we are counting in fours. We're starting at number 20, so let's start counting. 21, 22, 23 and 24. So we can give that a little tick. 24 is correct and 20 is correct. We're now going to move to the second blank number. We're starting at number 24. Let's draw a nice big arrow. And above the arrow, we're going to put one, two, three, four dots because we are counting in fours. We're starting at number 24, so let's start counting. 25, 26, 27, and 28. So again, the last one has been done for us, but let's work through it anyway, just to make sure everything is correct. One, two, three, four. We're starting at number 28. Let's start counting. 29, 30, 31, and 32. And that is the number over here. We can give that a tick, and therefore this one is a tick as well. So that is how we count in fours with numbers up to 40.